Well, today, we're going to try our hand at a blueberry barbecue sauce. So we're going to need a meat cracker to get it in our mouth, and that's going to be in the form of this here leg quarters, which come from the chicken, if you didn't know. Prep's easy. Pat them dry. Get you some kosher salt. And hit it pretty good on both sides. This is what we're going to call a dry brine. We'll get it on a wire rack. That way the air in the fridge circulate all around it. And that's going to help dry out the skin and add some flavor. You know, chicken needs all the help it can get in the flavor department. Stick it in there. Get up the next morning. Grab your Crocs and your favorite smoker. Get it fired up. We're going to be running a little cherry wood for smoke today. Cherry and chicken goes together. We're going to be running about 350 degrees throughout the whole cook. We're going to have to season a little bit more, so grab you some pepper and some garlic. What you want to do is hit both sides pretty liberally. Now, if you don't have any peppercorn medley, you can look down below and order you some. Or you can use some 20 mesh black pepper. You just do you, Pepe, however you want to do it. Once coated, that good seasoning, let's go stick her out on the outlaw. You've seen this done hundred times before. Let's throw it on the rack. No particular order. We're not really caring. It's just chicken. Close the lid. Let it set in there for an hour. And then we'll come back, check on it. Now for the sauce, it's good stuff. So listen up close. We're going to get us a half of an onion, two cloves of garlic, diced up. That was a little bacon fat we put in there just to get them onions translucent. About three minutes. And that in your garlic. That we're going to add one cup of water, two teaspoons of beef broth. It's your favorite brand. They didn't have mine, so I'm using this. Get you some chipotle flakes or red pepper flakes, whatever you got. Remember, look down below. Order some if you want it. Make it mojo. Two tablespoons of mojo barbecue. Third cup brown sugar. And get your favorite hot sauce. Add you in two teaspoons of that. Now, for barbecue sauce, you know, they like that there. Tomato. So let's put in a cup of tomato sauce. Stir it every once in a while, just so it don't stick to the bottom. Then we're going to break out the old superfood, which is the blueberry. Let's start off by adding in a cup to this mixture. Just stir it around. Give her a snort test every once in a while, just to make sure it smells like barbecue sauce. Let her boil for about seven minutes. That seven minutes is up. Dump her in a blender. Get her smoothied up. Let me take. Steam comes out the top, it's hot, just so you know. And add in, yeah, say half a cup, maybe three quarters a cup, of the not boiled blueberries, three smidgens of salt, and a little maple syrup, a little honey, or one or the other, whichever one you have. About a quarter of a cup, just to add a little good sweetness. Let me tell you, this is good. It's savory, it's sweet. Got a little heat. This could go good on a lot of things. Write down all them changes you made throughout the video. Get you a vessel. Store it in. Pour it in there. Now this, we're going to use a little bit today, but this could set in your fridge for a couple weeks before it goes rancid. That's it. That's it for the sauce. You'll be needing it. An hour later, here's the chicken. Running at, what, 180 degrees or so? That's it. Perfect doneness for these things. Paint them up like your Picasso. Both sides, man, those things look pretty good. Stick it back out on that outlaw for about 10, 15 minutes. Let that sauce get good and set in. Here you have it. Pretty little leg. All right, if you got the mash record, as you can tell, I devoured that leg. So it must be really good because I don't even like chicken. I'm going to pull this skin off just to show y'all moisture, tenderness this here chicken that's not the, that's not the point of the video it's just sauce let me tell you this sauce ah oh, is a dipping sauce is a barbecue sauce possibilities are endless i think beef chicken pork it's gonna be used on a lot of stuff here that's it i'm gonna clean my mouth you know what try it and i appreciate you mojo is out oh i'm fat but a